Anin Buju Band members. Today is Monday, September 14th. And before I start my information sharing, I would like to introduce you to a new staff member in my office who is Maria Costello, and she started today. So with that, I'd like to um, turn it over to Maria just to say hello and introduce herself. Hello, my name is Maria Costello. I am from um, District 3 area. I've previously worked here in Melanie's office on some special projects. Um, I'm really excited to be here working and I look forward to learning and um, starting a new adventure. Miigwech. So we could talk about the um, COVID positive cases. Aiken County is 66. Crow Wing is 377, Mill Axe is 131, and Pine County is 181. And I'm really sad to say that we've seen some increases of positive COVID cases on our reservation. In District 1, uh, we had 10, and they're all out of quarantine. In District 2, we had three cases, and they were out of quarantine. Currently, in District 3, we now have five positive cases. One is in the ICU, one is in the hospital, and three are quarantined. So again, uh, as a reminder that when we find out that someone is positive, there is the tracing that occurs. And so we will find out all the individuals that came in contact with the positive case and we then go attempt and ask questions from the public health service just to make sure that uh, you understand what comes along with um, tracing and you may be um, requested to be quarantined or and also taking um, a COVID test. So please, if you are contacted by the public health department, Please comply and um, let's kind of keep these positive cases from spreading any further. And um, as a couple of updates, in one of the past um, videos, I talked about the Enterprise Academy program, and that's building local economies from within and where um, the corporate has a relationship with the Initiative Foundation where they are helping uh, small businesses um, do a business plan, how to create a business, what are the funding opportunities, all of those aspects that you need to be a business owner. And I was informed that there are four Mille Lacs band members that have been approved to go with this program. And um, the names we will know soon when the Initiative Foundation releases those. So congratulations in advance to those individuals. Very proud of you of looking to grow your business. Also, September 16th is when Niashing and Pine Grove will open up their schools. And uh, it's a hybrid model where school will be Children can come to school Monday and Tuesday, Thursday and Friday. On Wednesday, they will do a thorough cleaning and that will go on until we know what else um, is going on with this uh, pandemic. And uh, last week I had a meeting up in District 2, um, community conversation, and uh, it turned out to be a beautiful day. And uh, thank you to all the District 2 members that participated and ask questions and made recommendations to us. That's um, one of the uh, directives to the commissioners is to make sure that they share their time in the outlying districts to have their admin policy board meetings or set up a, a daily office up there. So we go to the band members and they do not have to track down a commissioner. So hopefully that works um, a little better as they're moving forward or trying to keep the communication going. And um, also um, there are uh, housing available in District 2. So as a District 2 member, if you're interested, please contact Community Development, the housing 
to see what that requirement is for that. And also we are having a pop-up census throughout the reservations this week. And so if you um, haven't filled out your census, you have the opportunity to win a $100 gift card. There are t-shirts and masks and, and other um, items that they're going to be uh, giving away. So hopefully um, you will see uh, the pop-up census tents at the community centers on September 15th. That's tomorrow, Tuesday. I will be in the urban area and we are going to start our discussion on the housing project. And that will be located across from the All Nations Church. The meeting starts at 5 p.m. And I urge you as an urban band member to come down and um, listen to the information that will be presented. And we will be creating a committee to get uh, recommendations and ideas on how this new housing project should look at moving forward. Again, talking about um, the COVID protocols of wearing your mask, making sure you wash your hands on a regular basis and to keep your six feet social distancing. And um, we can get control of this and, and hopefully we don't have any more positive cases in our community, knock on wood. Miigwech and I will talk to you again soon.